My name is Megan Scoggins, and I am the visual arts um, chair, and I'm also the fashion teacher and artistic director of Junk to Funk. Junk to Funk is your not so traditional fashion show. It's a big collaborative production that um, is the rock, I feel, of our school spirit. It's something that everyone in this school can jump on board and be a part of, and that's really meaningful to me. Junk to Funk got started, oh gosh, I wanna say 13 or 14 years ago in the performance hall um, with a previous teacher here. With this year, having two years off and um, post-COVID, I thought it was a great year to bring um, traditional artwork to the forefront and seeing how students could interpret that in a three-dimensional form. To come up with an idea on paper it's fairly easy, um, but to create that in a three-dimensional way um, and done correctly using fashion skills, sewing skills, draping skills, pattern making, what we put on our bodies is no longer just something to get us through our day-to-day. -day. It's more of a way you express yourself and it's a sense of creativity. Um, and why not have fun with it? You only live once. Uh, my name is Amy. Uh, I am a senior and this is Fashion 3. The thing that first sparked my interest in fashion was when I realized it was just art in a different form. In fashion, you were the art. Um, you were like what you were expressing. I just tr kind of strive to go beyond um, what people would typically see. Your medium of expressing yourself is clothing. So I want to, I just kind of wanted to see like, what if I did something that wasn't something typically people would wear um, in everyday life. The theme of my collection is based on MC Escher's concave and convex. They're very like optical illusions. All of them are illusional. You don't know what's coming in. You don't know what's coming out of it. I wanted to focus on portraying movement. These are like reeds, like rattan reeds for basket weaving. If you dip them in water, they become super soft, like string, and you can shape them however you want. I have to be really careful when I'm gluing. So like small things like that, that you didn't really account for, that happen, and you have to work around it. Of course, the garments are the main thing, but kind of take in the show in its entirety. The creative processes that went into the show beyond just the garments. If you look at what people are wearing today, that's kind of what, it's been designed by somebody else. The thing about art is you don't, there's not a starting point and an ending point, you know. I'm Jenna Richards, I'm a senior, and I'm taking Fashion 3 with Miss Goggins. So when I found out about Savannah Arts and their Junk to Funk show, I just immediately went into it and wanted to continue designing. So my inspiration for Junk to Funk in my collection is uh, The Reception by James Tizot, who is a French painter who was heavily influenced by the women of the time. And so I'm drawing elements from that to create them into my own version. So my main material throughout my collection this year is newspaper. Because for every single year I have been in Junk to Funk, I have collected newspaper and stacks and stacks of it but never got to use it. And so I was determined to give it some sort of new life this year. The most major lesson that I've ever learned being a designer is that you cannot give up on your work, and especially in yourself, because you will find a spot where you're just thinking nothing's going right and you can't fix it. But once you continue working through it, you will be able to figure it out, because you will see other people around you who are creating these beautiful masterpieces and then you see you might be a little further behind and it just doesn't feel so great. But then you keep going and then you find something that you're so proud of and it's just a wonderful feeling. It's the reason why I continue doing Junk to Funk. But you become so proud of yourself, the people around you, and your models for all the hard work at the end of the show. My name is Emmeline Kim. I am a senior and I am in Fashion 3. Junk to Funk to me has always been a great creative outlet to kind of express yourself in a different art form, but fashion is a really good way to kind of bring it to life and just make it wearable, make it chic. First thing that sparked my interest in fashion was actually probably going to one of my sister's junk to funk shows because she was a designer for a few years. Watching it like come to life on stage was really cool and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do this when I get to high school. 
and I just thought it was really cool to kind of create your own ideas and you know make them come alive on stage. Uh, my collection is based on the cathedral by Monet and he did a whole collection on the cathedral but the one I'm focusing on is in the sunlight. The painting is from the Impressionist era. I wanted to really focus on form and color. So it's really light, airy, like as you can see with this, we use really light fabrics, light colors, just make it look really flowy. I'm really proud of how far I've come in terms of sewing because like I said, I had no idea what I was doing. Art is super important to me. It's like a great outlet to just show people what the inside of your mind looks like.